In the darkness of this tragedy, we're hearing many stories of heroism from the brave actions of first responders to the victims themselves. Our Jacqueline Lee met with a woman who says her life was saved by Ryan Keith Cox, one of the victims of the mass shooting. David, Christy Dewar tells me uh, Ryan Keith Cox, who is known by everybody as Keith, really was a guardian angel. And if it wasn't for him, there would be seven additional victims, herself included. Christy Dewar says the chaos erupted in the middle of two ice cream Sunday birthday celebrations. Claudia says, this is not a drill. There's an active shooter in the building. Run, get off your phones, run, get out. And then I heard somebody else screaming, it's too late, run the other way, hurry, run. Dewar said Ryan Keith Cox, a public utilities employee for 12 and a half years, known by everyone as Keith, immediately took control. He said, get in Lloyd's office now barricade yourselves and hurry and we all went in there I turned to Keith and he said I gotta check on everybody else and we shut the door locked it and pushed a metal cabinet seconds later Dewar says the shooter shot through the door four times with two bullets almost piercing through that metal cabinet um we were afraid to move so finally we heard Code blue, code blue, please. Police officers quickly ushered them out. They had us go down the south stairwell, and there was a body there on the landing, covered in blood. They had her covered up. I was, I just started shaking and crying, and I, I just stopped and I kept on staring. And the officer said, "Don't stare at the body. Look away." I said, I can't do this. He said, yes, you can. You're strong enough. Come on. Don't look. Step over her. <sighs> she later learned that body was Missy Langer, one of her friends. And Dewar tells me that tonight she's thinking of the shooter's parents. She said at first she was really angry at them given what their child did, but then she thought about it and she realized they lost someone that they loved as well. And she hopes everyone can have some compassion for them. Live in Chesapeake, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.